Good afternoon. My name is Steve Faris. For the purpose of this meeting, I'm the spokesperson for the Bobo family. Um, Karen, Dana, and Clint have asked me to give a statement. After the statement is given, uh, I will entertain questions, but I will not entertain any questions to do with the case. That will be in the province of the Attorney General and the Sheriff. If you wish to ask them questions, I believe they are here to answer the questions that they are able to at this time. Please remember, this is the family statement. This is not my statement. On behalf of Holly, we would like to thank everyone for their thoughts and prayers during this difficult saga. Our friends have been unwavering in their support, and the authorities have been diligent in their pursuit of justice. We will never understand the actions or the motives of those who took Holly from us, but we continue to pray that someone will have the courage to step forward and shed more life on this senseless tragedy. Those responsible will be afforded a trial. As an innocent victim, Holly had no such right. They can appeal the verdict if they choose to do so. Holly was given no such choice. Although in prison, they can breathe, see God's wonders of this earth, and visit with their loved ones. Not Holly. We've lost a precious daughter, sister, granddaughter, niece, cousin, and friend. However, those responsible have lost their souls. Holly's soul is the one thing that their brutality could not diminish or extinguish. The family knows that Holly is in a better place, and we're comforted by that knowledge. We hope that no family will have to experience what we have endured. Our agony cannot be adequately described in words. For this reason, we respectfully request something circumstances have denied us, and that is privacy. We believe we have the right to mourn privately as a family and a community. We know the press and other media have jobs to do. And in fact, y'all have been very helpful in publicizing Holly's abduction. But now is the time for grieving. Please honor our request. The case is in the hands of the authorities and we will not have any further comment as a family at this time. Thank you. If there are any questions concerning the family, we will try to answer them at this time. We may or may not. If there are no questions and y'all wish to speak to the Attorney General and the Sheriff, we will step aside. Does the discovery offer any closure for the family? Janice, as you know, that's part of the case. Uh, we cannot answer that question. As far as closure, uh, this has been bittersweet. They had been informed previously of Holly's death, uh, so they've run the gamut of emotions. Uh, they are comforted by the fact uh, that they do have a definitive answer at this point. Since day when the family has vowed to find Holly, and now it's been bring Holly home, now that Holly has been found, how is the family coping with this new reality? I think they're coping minute to minute, hour by hour, day by day, as if any of us would in similar circumstances. Again, running the, the uh, gamut of uh, emotions that uh, families go through. But I'll tell you this, I've never seen a stronger stronger family. I've never seen a more dedicated family. I've never seen a family that wouldn't give up. I've never seen a family so full of faith. Thank you. 